Hey y'all, Ibrick Sky here back again with another field test video. And within this video, I'm going to test using the latest firmware as of 6-16-2020. I'm going to test active track. So we're gonna I'm gonna run through this field and I'm gonna experiment with the various active track modes. Uh, it is worth mentioning I am filming in 4K 30 HDR. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and click record. I'm recording. We're gonna start the motors and we're gonna do some active track here. So the first one I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do the, uh, and so you can just select yourself. You just kind of pinch your fingers around your yourself or whatever object. It didn't quite get me there. Let's see. Um, let's hit cancel. And see, I, I can just select myself, just kind of pinch my fingers. Selected area is too small, it says. I'm going to step out here. So I'm going to pinch and then I'm going to select one of these modes. See, now it's got me in track. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a trace. So the trace, I'm going to click go, and you're going to see it's just kind of going to keep the camera on me here. See, so that's the trace. It just kind of traces me. Now I'm going to switch to the parallel and click go. Don't forget to click go. And it's going to do a parallel. So that's parallel right there. Uh, we're going to stop parallel mode. Now we're going to do the circle. So when I go out here, it'll circle me. And I can change clockwise, counterclockwise, speed, everything. So see, that's a useful feature because I was able to change clockwise, counterclockwise, also do the uh, circle speed, which was nice. So now let's just do some goofy stuff. Let's go into trace and I'm going to click go. Actually, let's stop. I'm going to do trace and let's see if I wave if it goes. It did. So it recognizes the wave. Uh, that was something with the original firmware had a problem with. When I waved, it often didn't work. That came right up, so it started uh, it started tracking me, and I didn't have to click go. So now let's just kind of do this and see what happens.
I was able to lose it that time. What's interesting, hiding behind the car, hiding behind the tree, it found me again. So if I walk over there, will it reacquire me? dead so diving under it several times I was able to have it continue to follow me that last time when I dove under it it didn't uh, it didn't find me but when I walked in front of it it recognized me so I didn't have to do the pinch and the and the box around myself again so that's pretty cool Let's see. You lost me. That's funny, it lost me with the camera pointing down. It didn't reacquire me. Whew. So, so I was able to get, let's see now, if I click the green, so now I'm back in normal flight mode. So active track is tremendously improved. Obviously you wouldn't be doing that if you were uh, if you were doing a professional shoot you know I was just doing that to see how how well or how poorly it would reacquire an object but that was cool you know going behind the car and the tree how it just waited and it said oh there you are so that was kind of neat yeah I'm super impressed with the uh, with the active track modes especially this latest firmware man this firmware is of uh, 616 to 2020, June the 16th of 2020. This stuff is amazing. It really is. It's found me. Okay, good stuff, man. And if you haven't updated to the latest firmware yet, I've got a video where I show you how to update the Mavic Air 2 to the latest firmware. So <clears throat> it's actually a very streamlined process. If you worked with the older drones, the Phantom 1, <laughs> starting out with that, things have changed dramatically. And it's just a much more uh, streamlined process now. Just be sure you have broadband internet. Don't, don't wait till you get out in the field and update your firmware, because then you'll be chewing up your battery and uh, updating firmware in the field when you want to use that to fly your drone. Battery life on this thing's exceptional. So see, I'm gonna go ahead and put her down here. Let's see, let's step out of the camera's frame there. Put it down right in the middle. So I was very impressed with that. That was good. Uh, good quality uh, if you're looking for the Mavic Air 2 the accessories other drones cameras expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it all online and if you haven't subscribed be sure to do so and ring that bell icon when you do and that'll notify you whenever I post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.